in high-latitude permafrost environments and high-altitude mountains. There are a large number of mysterious regular surface patterning, also known as patterning, such as the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and other freezing regions in China, the Svalbard Islands in Norway in the Arctic, and the Alpine regions in Ethiopia. The pattern ground is made up of different kinds of stones and soils. Some arranged in polygonal net, stone circles, and others in striped spatial patterns. The origin of these regular patterns has long been puzzling scientists. But recently, this enigma is starting to be solved. Scientists now attribute the spontaneous regular patterns to a process called spatial self-organization. In the periglacial environment, when scouring together with soil freezing thawing cycles, are speculated to drive the aggregation and separation movements of granular particles in the soil, which eventually result in assorted spatial patterns of stones on the land surfaces. 土壤膨胀分选过程中形成的这种地貌格局啦，有非常。This idea has been sparked by theoretical and empirical studies in physics. Chemistry, biology, and ecology. However, it is notoriously difficult to test this idea in the field. The geomorphological systems in cold regions often evolve at extremely slow rates, largely forbidden human observers to record the processes. Many existing numerical models have suggested that differential frost heave and radial expansion of the fine-grained soils. Can lead to the movement of surface particles to the margins of the plugs, and the formation of the self-organized patterns. This mechanism can reproduce a variety of large-scale sorted patterns, such as polygons and sorted circles. But direct experimental evidence for this model is still lacking. Scientists have long speculated that needle ice formed in the permafrost layer could play a role. A new research led by an international team from China, Japan, the U.S., and the Netherlands revisited this old idea with brand new evidence and theory. The researchers designed an elegant experiment system that allows for the formation of needle ice in well-controlled lab conditions. This system can mimic a time machine, with which the observers can push the fast-forward button to speed up the process of land surface evolution within a microcosm. Within a couple of weeks, the researchers can now observe the years or even decades-long process happening in nature. They use video camera and computer program to automatically track the movement trajectory of every single stone. And reproduce such observed processes in computer with mathematical models. The researchers found that, driven by the freezing thawing cycles in soils, the surface granular particles migrated towards the stone-rich areas from stone-poor areas. This is exactly the process where a variety of ordered spatial patterns of stones arises from. This group of scientists have replicated the experiment numerous times. With all kinds of settings of needle ice properties and stone field concentration, they put together these nonlinear relationships between different needle ice height and stone field concentration to demonstrate that the geomorphological pattern formation process has the same physical principle as that underpins the water oil separation process. 像分离原理的本质是石头有机浓度向高浓度运动。这个运动方式与传统的扩散是不一样的。Known as phase separation mechanism, the phase separation theory perfectly reproduced the different types of sorted patterns and found that the activity of needle ice plays a dominant role in shaping this pattern ground. What makes the scientists more exciting is that their phase separation model can also perfectly reproduce the similar sorted patterns found in the Martian boulders. By curiosity, can this seen as another evidence reinforcing the existence of soil water on Mars? Does this mean freezing thawing cycles also drive the evolution of Martian landscapes? 
It's still too early to answer this question. But the study does open many opportunities to look into geological and geomorphic evolution of Earth-like planets.